All right, I'm going to show you um, this uh, find I got at an antique place uh, for eight bucks. It is uh, called Kingpin. It is an electronic microcomputer pinball game. It's by Castle, which I've never heard of. It seems really cheap, um, but I was intrigued by. Um, it, again, it was inexpensive enough, and it seemed really small. I love the you know the old red LED display. Uh, that's going to be hard to see, but uh, is there. Um, so let me show you it in action. Um, the weird thing is when I got it, it actually had two marbles in it. Uh, you know, two balls in there. And uh, I couldn't figure out why. There's no place to kind of get it. You can't take off this top. So I actually had to unscrew it from the bottom and take the second one out. It works, but it's really kind of quirky. Um, you turn it on a bunch of times and it will give you an error message until finally it works. And then uh, you'll see what happens as we play here. All right, so one thing is, um, this I think is supposed to pull back and shoot it. It makes it sound like it is, uh, like the general launcher, but it doesn't work. So you gotta kinda tap it. And you're gonna hear beeps. And you'd think the score would be going, but it doesn't, now it is. So 12, 15, 21, 33. And, you know, it's playable, and you, you'll see that at some point I will lose it. Um, I'm just going to lose it here. You actually have to keep track manually. So, uh, so far I've got 126 points. Uh, you can kind of see that. Yeah, you should be able to see that if it focuses. Yeah, 126 points. Um, again, what's strange about it is the scoring. I cannot figure out how, how it scores. Um, I'm going to flip it over here for a second and uh, zoom in here on what it says. It says strategy. Numbered spots enter digits into memory. Starred spots add memory entry to score. So it seems like you got to get the stars to get the actual points. And this is bonus multi-digit memory entry yields quick bonus scoring. Don't know what that means. But so again, stars and numbers. So, you know, so obviously you can see, zoom back out, there are some stars at the bottom, and then there's numbers. But, again, I, 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 I'm going to take it apart to try to figure out actually how it works. I don't know if there's some sensors um, in there that are helping, you know, when it goes over a certain thing. All right, so I took one, two, three, four screws out. There were little um, rubber feet on the top two that I had to remove to get the screws out. And I mentioned I had taken this apart previously to get the ball out. And I was surprised by seemingly how little there was going on inside. Um, so far, all you can see is, obviously, these are the, um, the uh, flippers. All right, this is the um, thing, and again, there's probably supposed to be a rubber band from here to, I don't know, maybe there, so that would be easy enough to connect another one. But the only immediate electronic is from here to the speaker, that thing that's beeping. Um, so there's gotta be something else going on so that I can detect uh, things. So let me see how much further I can take this apart. So I'm gonna lift this piece out. And so you can see there, that's obviously, there's the ball. All right, so let's flip this thing over. Hopefully not comes out. So, so this is obviously the scores. There is a circuit board there. And this must be reading. There's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten places that it's reading, or maybe eight uh, plus power in and out. And then there's a circuit board there. So it's reading something from the board. Uh, so 
let's see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, so what I've done is um, I've got it hooked, got the battery just put in place. Um, and so what I notice is that there's no conventional switch down here. Um, I don't want the, to lose these pieces, but this is how it is. There's off on and a reset. And so obviously there's no conventional switches here. But there you go. You can hear what happens when uh, I just touch. So that's where the power would be. Okay, there's zero. So now let's just do eight. And now it starts. So I think it should count by eight. 16, 24, 32. But now if I get five, still, oh wow, it's still going up by eights, even though I'm doing fives. Oh, now it's three, go, uh, so it, now it's going up by 33, I'm guessing, so it'll be 146, yeah, 179, six, now let's see, one ten. 185, 191, so 5s, so again, this seems like a number, but the number doesn't seem to work, because it goes by 6, the 8 does, yep, so the 8 does, the 3 does, the 6 does, and that 8 does, so that's interesting. The five somehow. Yeah, I don't know if there's a short there or something. But so theoretically, if I got a bunch of threes in a row. Yeah, see now it's an E. The E because uh, I can't comprehend that score. So obviously the pressure of the ball. Oops. So that was three. So. So yeah, you gotta hit a number. Oh, see that actually, the five worked there. Oh no. So now it's 88. Yeah, it's gonna be 88. These I don't think do anything. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm curious to find out about this. Um, my, you know how it works. Obviously, it's pressure sensitive. I don't think it's you know this is a this is a fairly heavy metal ball. You know, it's not a lightweight one. It's a relatively heavy. So I'm assuming that this is pressure sensitive. That there's probably two layers, and in between uh, is another layer. But there's a um, a hole, and if it's pressed, it's going to come together and make contact. You can see here. There is uh, a trace here. That corresponds to down here, and in between is this plastic sheet, right? And so that plastic sheet means that this will not touch this unless it's pressed down, unless the marbler, you know, comes over it, and that corresponds to the eight. So there's joysticks and other things that work like that as well. Um, I think like the Texas Instruments one does. So I don't want to take it apart more than that since it shows... So basically anywhere there's one of these things, it will have a, a trace that will lead up to obviously, you know, this, this board. So a little more sophisticated than I thought. So, um, so definitely a good buy. I saw one that sold on eBay for about 30. Um, I think you'd probably be more likely to get 20, 25. Uh, the version I saw was it looked like a higher scoring one. You could get a thousand points and two thousand points. So what I ended up doing is putting the spring from the two flippers down through uh, the launcher. Um, I, I thought it was a rubber band, but I didn't. Well, when I opened it, there's no you know broken rubber band in there, and there's no obvious place to connect it. So this seems like it should hopefully work. All right, so I do have it reassembled with the spring in place. Uh, I'm going to try to play it. Uh, it's going to be a little awkward because I got the tripod. But let's see how... Yeah, so it launches. So... 
it's working. Again, theoretically, now that I know how it works, I could, if I had better control, <laughs> like, I don't know if you would just pop it up on the stars or something. So that was ball uh, one. So, it's probably a way to manipulate it. Somebody who's smarter than me can figure that out. But uh, it's keeping score, it's beeping. Uh, it's certainly worth $8. Uh, it is uh, uh, a fun little game. The, the red uh, display, I think, again, for certain people is, is a lot of fun. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I, got, I, I happen to find this. You can find it online. And uh, it's, it's worth it to me. It's definitely worth it. Uh, so, hope you liked it. If you can find it, check it out. Thanks.